Across the country, Americans are still processing the chaos that ensued at the nation's capital last night. Students are also wrapping their heads around the current state of affairs. A local teacher tells Dylan Siraki how his lesson plan will approach the situation. We have to be able to identify what's true and what isn't. And that's a big goal of mine as a teacher, is to help them to sift through the noise. Steve Vaughn is a government teacher at Rockford Lutheran School. He thinks it's essential to talk to kids about the violence that erupted in Washington, D.C., as election results were being certified Wednesday afternoon. It is hugely important for young people to be engaged in the political process, and to be engaged in the political process is very important for them to understand what's going on and be aware of, of uh, current events. Vaughn tells me young people need to know this is not par for the course when it comes to the democratic process. We've never had a president uh, deny the legitimacy of an election before. It's not normal. And I think this, this message is getting through to them. Um, I think they understand that, but they've never witnessed normalcy, and that's unfortunate. If you're struggling to start a conversation with your kids, experts suggest talking about both appropriate and inappropriate ways they can pursue change. I think we have to differentiate and make sure children know that what they saw was not protest and what they saw was rioting, was violence, were acts of hate. There's no excuse for you know demonizing your opponents. Um, you just t tell the truth and be respectful and, and that's as much as we can ask. In Rockford, for your home team, I'm Dylan Siraki.